They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. Finding an identity can be so hard for people. It can take, it can take literal years. It can take right. years. Like, uh, it took me a long time to find my personality and to really click and be okay with who I was. But right. as soon as I did, never looked back. Yeah, never, the never looked back. Trying to figure out you're not what you do. Yeah, and like I, you, and at the same time, though, you got to constantly evolve, right? You, you right. got, you got, you got to exactly. make, you got to make tweaks. Like, um, personally, I loved, I'm in this recliner chair. This is my, it's like, I still comfy check. I, I love podcasting from this chair, but, uh, right. Jared just, Jared's my business, the business partner for APS. And he's just like, well, you gotta be at a desk. You gotta be like in a nice shirt. I'm like, listen, like it's, it is 751 in the evening on a Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? This is how I dress at that time. So right. this is how I'm going to podcast because that's just how I do things. Yeah, again, <laughs> again. So, so as as a coach, I would ask you questions about it. All right, go for I it. Think. Ask ask away. So, so like I like the chair. Could you accent the chair with a drop on it? Put something that act that brings out your personality more than just a brown chair. Could you drape like a, a flag or do some accents on it with a shirt you have? Could you have different colors that you branding that then you can sell like. That is one of your podcasts, but not yeah. the podcast you're doing right now, right? right. So Correct. you branded it and then said, hey, you guys are interested in one of these cool limited shirts. I've got them over on my website. So it's constantly looking at it. Then you're like, hey, you know what? I came out with a collared version that's like, uh, you know, like the, what the tattoo artists wear. They, they look almost yeah. like industrial so you got some something like that, or you now you got a hat or a bandana you got on. Wait, don't so, get me, don't get me wrong. All those tweaks will be there one day when I'm in a full studio. You know what I'm a saying? Like as a backdrop. Coach, yeah, of course. Yeah. As a coach, I would right. add those in before you're comfortable because you're like, well, I want them to get to know me. All we're doing is accentuating your personality through these different quote props. Right. And it's just people are like, oh, I like that shirt, man. That's a cool color. Where can I get it? Or what do you use for your beard? Or what do you put in your hair? People want to know about your personal lifestyle, what you're using. Yep. And that's what successful people have realized. Like they don't want to know just what I do. They want to know what I use, like what I do on the weekends. Yep. And when you start to leave, let people into your personal side, they want like, oh, that's a cool product. Oh, you like that? And you're like, wait a minute, I'm making money on t-shirts and some grooming products. And then I find a chair company that likes these giant chairs yep. that I can say, you know what's good about this chair? Football. Mm -hmm. I can watch football in my own chair. And then it, then you get custom like designs on the back of your chair that makes it your chair. So there's like, that's how my brain thinks. Well, and, and, just, and, and the, the common pushback yeah. I'll be like, why would someone buy any of this crap? It's like, well, that's not the point. The point is, okay, right. okay, why are they buying it? They're not, they're not just buying it. They're buying it from me because right. they trust me. And they're promoting you. And why do they trust me? Because they feel like they know me because I'm talking in a podcast literally in their ears. Correct. My voice is going straight to their brain. You are going to trust people on podcasts. I've bought, I've bought things from podcasts I listen to, and they've been fantastic. And if they suggest me to someone, it would work. Like, I talk to financial people, right? People right. who, like, work in finance. Like, say, like, um, they're selling life insurance. Someone right. tell me they're selling life insurance. I'm like, you need a podcast. They go, I, they go, why? I go, well, because there are podcasts, people out there who know nothing about life insurance, who sell life insurance because they have a podcast. Like, well, why right. don't, why would they buy it from me? It's just like, because they don't know you. You just exactly. call, call them on LinkedIn. They're going to know you're trying to sell them something. What, so are, you giving, guy, what are you giving them? Nothing. There's a guy on, on um, TikTok. And, you know, I go on there because I think it's interesting. He's an older gentleman in his 60s. He's a financial advisor. And he gives these crazy quick tips. He goes, my business is blown up because no one in this area is doing this. And these younger people who are making money on cryptocurrencies and investments, they got all this cash sitting around. They don't know what the hell to do with it. Yeah. They see an older guy who's trending. He's got over a million followers. And he goes, and then I take those followers and I tell them to go to my website or I tell them to go to Instagram or I tell them to go over here or you can find me on LinkedIn. And he goes, I'm building up this platform. And people have to realize that this is the way relationships start yeah. now. Mm -hmm. So if you can be authentic and be genuine and want more for people, you're going to make money eventually. But if you're out there just trying to pitch a sale on someone, eh, 
you know, that people can hear in the one thing. ear out the you, other. But but think about what you just said. You know what that why that happens? Because our subconscious can pick up the vibrational tone of someone being truthful or lying that we don't recognize in our consciousness. Uh -huh. So so that's the crazy thing about vibrations and energy that's out there. It's influencing us all the time, and sometimes we're just not aware of it. But like I said, when you're at a concert or you're at you know a, a sporting event, you're getting that vibrational energy from people, and it feels good. Now, if you're doing a business and you're doing this podcasting and people know you're authentic, they can not only hear it, but they can actually feel it through your voice, the tone of your voice. Yeah. You can't fake that. You no. really can't. No, and like this, this again for me personally, like I, I am invincible behind the microphone. I am just the most, I am the best version of myself when I do a podcast. And that's why I do like, I'm doing, I'm doing five this week. Five, five mm -hmm. of them. It's a lot, <laughs> which means I have to take a week off to edit them and do all that other, other crap. But I love doing it. I just, I love talking to it. Like, honestly, honestly, Sean, I had a whole list of questions here about you being a life coach, your clients, your core values, physical health, mental health, all up the window. Threw all of that out, all that out. And you know what? That's good. That's not a bad thing. Like one thing I tell people doing podcasts, I'm like, yes, be prepared, but be prepared to be unprepared. Like right. be prepared. Okay. To, like if, if you threw me a bunch of curveballs, a bunch of left hooks, I'm just like, great. Let's roll the punches. Let's see where this goes. And it's fantastic. I've had, I've had a great time.